Hey Divas, welcome back to my channel and I'm coming to you with a review of the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector and I'm um, having some issues with this and maybe some of you ladies who's already tried it or used it can comment down below. I know my girl Diva Tam has a review on this and I'm, I will be waiting for her comment. Goss, the makeup artist, I do watch him. I'm not subscribed. I'm not telling you to subscribe because he doesn't communicate back but I do watch his channels because he's very informative, okay? And he said everything on this was false. If you go watch his video, he said everything on it was false. It's just a serum. It's no big deal. And, you know, he broke it down, like broke it down, okay? So I don't know if I'm going to return this or not. I kept the box and I kept the receipt because of my sensitive skin. The only problem that I've seen with this so far is that little girl right there. And there was one right here. Now, this this little girl and this little girl did not come up until after a week and a half or so of me using this product. So I'm not sure if it's a female thing or if it's the product. So at first, I was really excited that I wasn't breaking out. However, Goss the Makeup Artist said that with alcohol being the fourth ingredient that you will break out. So go watch his video if you want to break down of this. But this thing has excellent reviews on the YT. Now I don't have wrinkles or anything or bad skin. However, I do have large, large pores and I do have some spots from other breakouts that I would like to tone down. So anyways, this thing is supposed to visibly improve the quality of your skin within a month. You're supposed to see the first like results within like a week your pores are supposed to reduce and appear tighten and I really 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 been trying to watch it but I can't I can't tell I just can't tell and I'm just giving you my honest review like I'm not gonna follow everybody else and say oh my god this is bomb run to the store a second but I don't know I don't even know if I'm going to finish the bottle I've been using it like I said for about two weeks let me tell you the pros it says it's mattifying it does I have not heard anyone say this and I've experienced this I put it on at night you're supposed to put it on at night and in the morning I think um, before your moisturizer okay the reason why I don't use this in the daytime I don't use this in the morning and this may be why it's taking me longer to see results so I may have to finish out this bottle because at night I put it on and when I rub my hand across my face or rub my eyes or scratch, it rolls up. It rolls up right into my hand. So am I using too much? I don't know. But I don't want to put this on in the morning and beat my face. I'm oily as heck already and this thing starts rolling up. So I have not used it in the morning, only at night. I'm going to tell you the good things about it. Number one, this stuff smells like heaven you want it on your face you want it on your skin it smells like heaven i've even been thinking about putting it on my neck and it does say you can massage over your face and neck and i haven't moved down to my neck yet but i've been thinking about doing that because your girl getting older but as far as my face i just haven't seen the results that everyone is talking about I just haven't seen it. I don't have wrinkles or anything, so I'm not knocking the product as far as taking away wrinkles or anything. But I would like it to tone down some of the spots in my face because it says it refines uneven textures. Pores, I would like it to minimize my pores. I have very, very large pores. And the lines, I don't really have any lines, so I can't say anything about the lines at this point. But I am looking for some of you ladies' reviews. Um, it says velvety, smooth skin. I do feel like one, when I put this on at night, my skin is smooth. It feels smooth. It smells delicious. Like you want to eat it. That's how delicious it smells. Should I take it back and get a, a um, color correcting one that's meant just for fading spots? Because I know there's a couple of these that are out. So maybe... I grab one that I really don't need at this point in my life. Maybe I need to return the rest of this and exchange it for one that is more suitable for what I'm looking for, which is to fade some spots. As far as irritations and breakout, like I said, I've got two little girls that came to visit and they didn't show up till after a week and a half of me using this, so I'm not sure if it's this, but... Let me know down below what you think. Do you think I should go back to Walgreens and exchange it for another L'Oreal product? Because these products have excellent reviews. 
maybe I should change it for another L'Oreal product that would do what I'm looking for or do you think that I should continue to use this bottle out and see if there's any change in my thoughts on what it's doing for me so yeah I'm holding on to the bottle I, box I have the receipt in the box in case I needed to take it back and I am using my elf zit zapper for those two little girls I always use my elf zit zapper when I see something coming up I don't bust them I don't pick at them I'm trying to be good zit zapper let me know down below that is my personal opinion I'm looking for any help or any opinions on the product and I'll see you guys the next time we plan our makeup